A continuación presentamos el devocional diario por el pastor José Manuel Sierra y traducido al inglés. En español se emite de lunes a viernes a las 9 horas en las Islas Canarias y queda grabado en nuestros canales de Facebook y YouTube. Debajo en la descripción de este vídeo encontrará el enlace para los devocionales en español. My dear brethren, good morning. Welcome to today's devotional, which is going to be based in the book of the prophet Micah, specifically in chapter 6, as of verse 8. And the word of the Lord says, He has shown you, O man, what is good, and what does the Lord require of you, but to do justly, to love mercy, and to walk humbly with your God. That's the easy part. How sad it is when there is people that in their desire to feel the emptiness of their hearts, they begin to invent things, to practice a series of rituals, or to do things that are strange, to feel that emptiness, that void, believing that that way they will get and achieve good results. And they are mistakenly, sincerely, because they are Uh, thinking that they're going to please God that way. You will never have the excuse of saying, I did not know what God required of me. I just told you very clearly this morning. This is what God asks of us. Obedience. To love his word. To follow Jesus Christ. To humble ourselves in the presence of the Lord, which is completely the opposite of living a life of rebelling and disobedience and Uh, with our backs turned on God. You know what you have to do now. Do you realize that at no time it is mentioned to pray long prayers and repetitive prayers, carrying heavy, heavy crosses and lighting candles and doing penance or any other thing that you can invent or mention? God is very clear and very direct. The difficult part he already did. The easy part, he left it to us. The difficult part was to go to the cross and to pay the price of our sins, to shed his blood and to defeat Satan, to occupy our place on that cross, to rise again on the third day, and we could continue listing difficult things and very difficult things that are impossible that we obviously will never be able to have done. He did everything. He did everything that was complicated and everything that you and I could have never done. And now he leaves us a little part that we can do. And it is to love him, to obey him, to serve him, to humble ourselves before him, to put in practice the commandments of the word of God. At no time does the Bible say about religion. At no time the Bible says about sacrifices so many things that men have invented and that they're not agreeable to God and unpleasant to God. You will no longer have the excuse to say, nobody told me. Nobody spoke to me clearly about what God was asking of my life and what he was not asking. You know perfectly well what the Lord is asking for us. And today you have the opportunity to start a new life, not controlled by passions, by vices, by ties that will end up, end up destroying you, but complete control by nothing more and nothing less by the infinite and immense love of God. A love that is perfectly described, for example, in 1 Corinthians chapter 13, where he talks about the perfect love, which is the love of God. You can have peace, you can sleep perfectly well, and you can have a blessed family You can have balance. You can have harmony with yourself, with others, and with God if you do things decently and in order. God wants to put peace in your heart. God wants to renew your mind. God wants to strengthen your spirit. God wants to give you faith so that way you can please and honor God. He did everything that was difficult, and he left us the easy part, the simple part, so that we would be able to be happy or, and that we would, ob by obeying him, 
we could, number one, obtain the forgiveness of our sins. That is the greatest tragedy of the human race. The great problem of the human race is not the climate, it is not the politicians, it is not the corruption. The great problem of the human race is that he has sinned against God, and the wages of sin is death. And everything that we see around us, the tragedies that happen, the families that are break up, the people that are desperate, etc., etc., everything is a consequence of sin. But that is the reason why Christ came to defeat sin, to defeat Satan who is behind all the disorder and the chaos and the wars and the hunger and the misery. And so we could live life that are free without depending on anyone or anything. Wouldn't you like to have this uh, life in these first days of the year? Wouldn't you like to be happy, to have a blessed marriage? Wouldn't you like to walk through life without depending on anything or anyone? Of, of course you do. That is the desire of your heart and you want to humble yourself before God, the Bible says that those who humble themselves before God will be exalted. But be careful, those who get exalt themselves and rise up against God himself, they will be humbled and downcast. Therefore, be wise and answer to the call that God is throwing to your heart today and ask the Lord for your forgiveness. He is the only one that can forgive you. Do not complicate your life. Do not try to fill the emptiness of your heart with experiences, with substances, with things, because it will be useless and you will be wasting your time, if not your life. That's why be wise, I repeat. Tell the Lord this morning, forgive my sins. I receive Christ as my personal Lord and Savior, because I understand that only through Him I will be able to get to the Father, and reaching the Father, I will have eternal life. Let's pray this morning and present this day to our God and ask his blessing so that way he will accompany us and shepherd us throughout this day. Blessed Heavenly Father, thank you for the privilege that you give us in the light of your blessed and precious word to know what you ask of us. Lord, open our eyes, remove the scales of our lives so that we can open our hearts to you, Lord and be able to live in peace and harmony. Help us, lift us up, restore lives, break chains and spiritual ties, and strengthens and, and, and things that rise up against us to destroy us. Thank you because you are our victory. In you, I, we can be free and you're going to help us to stand firm until the end. We put our lives in your hands this day with thanksgiving in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. My dear brethren, may the Lord bless you. Live for Christ. It is the best life that you can have. There will be struggles and afflictions and trials and difficulties and everything is temporary, but the presence of the Lord remains forever in our lives. Thank you to all who are praying for us. Thank you for the support that you give us every day, we feel it. Truly, we feel the support in prayer, the army of men and women that are praying for us, for our family, for our daughters. Thank you, my dear brethren. I will love you in the love of Christ Jesus. And people continue to rise up that using our name and our ministry, our opening channels and pages. Well, we have said many times that deceivers and manipulators, they're always gonna exist and they will continue to. Be careful, you know that we don't ask for any money and the only official page that we have is Centro Evangelico Vida Nueva and also on Facebook. Everything else that comes out of that is, has nothing to do with us and our ministry. May the Lord bless you, my dear brethren. See you tomorrow. Lord willing, in the next devotional, and we continue ahead, walking in victory in the name of Jesus.